what is up what is up what is up uh, fast club we are on train sim world or tsw for short uh got a little bit of new dlc come out so we're gonna take a little quick tour of it so uh okay so first thing we have is uh that's not one that one's not one that one's not one okay we do have the train a northern trans penny uh, towering moors, challenging grades, and tight curves are yours to conquer in Train Sim World. A northern Transpenny brings a bygone era of trains over an aging rail network with out-of-date infrastructure and no modern safety systems to assist you. Wow. Okay, so that is that one. Uh, let's see. Over here, too. Come on. Oh, I guess it's automatically clicking on it. So uh, let's take a look at this one real quick. Introducing service mode. We know what service mode is. Uh, introducing Great Western Railway. Yeah, this just came out, uh, I believe, the day before yesterday. I kind of actually hear the train that's going right by my house right now. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Man, this thing takes a minute. Okay, diesel locomotives. Oh, that's different. Okay. It's going to pop up. Hey, there's a lady right there. Welcome to these Class 45 and Class 47 locomotives in BR Corporate Blue Livery. This brief introduction will go through startup, stopping, and passenger door operations. Uh, okay, walk over to the either class four. Oh, that's different. Hey, which one? Which one? Which one? Which one looks better? Let's see. I think this one. Okay. A lot of time will be spent in the locomotive cab, so climb aboard to get started. Yeah, climb the stairs. Hey, ma'am. Oh, you actually sit on this side. To get the locomotive started, set the battery isolation switch. Thank you. Why didn't they have me do that before I sat down? Uh, I guess switch it to closed. The master key is used to activate the control desk. Okay. Set it, uh, reverse it to engine only. Oops, engine only. The locomotive is now ready to be started. Okay, let's start her up. Blue light. I think it sounds like it's going to fall apart. Use the straight air brake to hold the locomotive during the startup procedure. Okay, to 100% it says. Release the brakes and allow the system to charge. Uh, to run. Wait for the brake system to charge. This thing is loud as hell. Use the reverser to set the direction of travel. We need to go to Ford. Marker lights are used to inform others around that this locomotive is active. Almost ready. Release, Release. the remaining brakes. Parking brake and straight air brake. Okay, straight air brake. Increase the throttle to start moving. Do not apply too much power too quickly. It's important to provide a smooth ride for passengers. Okay, so 10 miles an hour. Now it's getting quiet. Ooh, do you hear that sound right there? Sounds like a car. <laughs> it's like a sputtering. Coasting is used to be. Okay, he's throttle and brake to manage your speeds. Okay, where are we exactly going? Definitely don't want to go that way. 
Oh, at first I thought I was going that way. I was like, oh no. Okay, 13. So are we going actually all the way to the station down here, I guess? I don't like something's like clogging. You got some really curly hair. Okay. We're 400 yards. Ooh, we're going actually faster than we should be going. Let's see if we can slow this thing down. 15, 14. Okay, just keep going. Come on. Hey, what happened? Oh, I was about to say. Hey, the window doesn't go down. It should tell me, tell me about stopping soon. We're well, definitely going to stop in 380 yards. So let's start applying the brakes. Okay, now we're at 10. Now let's try stopping at a station and boarding passengers. The key aspect is to make a gentle, controlled approach. Well, this this tutorial actually tells you everything, doesn't it? It's a skill that takes years of practice. It may take a few attempts to get it right. I don't want to take a few attempts to get it right. Where do I need to stop it? Okay, right there. No, I need to keep going. <laughs> we're still 100 yards out. At this speed, we're going to be taking forever to get there. Love that sound, though. I wonder what this thing sounds like fully going. <laughs> okay. I, I had to try it. Okay, 760. Okay. We gotta be very careful because we can't go past that red marker. If we go past that red marker, then uh, we lose. Which that red marker is right on it, too. Point nine. Come on, get a little bit more speed. Okay, turn the throttle off. One point four. Just gonna stop it right there. Give a quick glance at the platform to ensure all is safe, then unlock the doors. Okay, everything is safe. Uh, let's unlock the right, I believe it is. Yep, there we go. Can you not even go in that? Hmm. Everybody getting on? Looks like it. This thing is a big train. Okay, climb up the stairs. Yep, let's sit down. Let's wait for the passengers. Boarding okay. is now complete. Set the doors to lock. Good work. That is the basics covered. A manual can also be obtained that provides more detail about the full functionality of this locomotive and more. There we go. There's that. I revved up. So that is pretty cool. 
I actually like this one. Okay, let's go to the main menu. Yes, the Long Island Railroad is out. There's actually quite a few DLCs now out. Wish they would be a little bit cheaper, but uh, they're definitely worth it. You get lots of time with it, mainly if you're really into trains and simulators. Okay, so on this northern trains, you get one, two, three, four, four scenario. Well, five, five uh, scenarios. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. You get the Transpenne, uh, Driving Rain, uh, Down and Out, Rescue Run, Red Bank Rotation. Red Bank takes you 20 minutes. Do it class 47 and class 45 with Rescue and Run, which is 40. This one takes you about 35, which is a class 101. Which the. Hold on a second, I'll show you guys in a minute. Class 45. In class 101 uh, tutorials decent locomotives uh, this thing is the B uh, the BR class 101 this is actually a separate DLC for the game guys okay never mind about that that is not an extra DLC uh, this actually comes with it but there is another DLC that came out too which I will take a look. I think it is. Where is it at? Uh, Train Sim World Northern Trans. Yeah, it's this. Uh, this one right here. That is. Uh, it's a separate DLC. It's the B. Uh, the BR Class 33 GRN. Uh, which I actually have to find out how you can even get in there. So. You actually got pretty many trains if you actually have all the DLC. Okay, I am actually looking at how much these DLCs is. It looks like the Train Sim World Northern Transpenne is $29.99, and the Train Sim World BR Class 33 is $19.99, guys. Uh, so it does. So. Th Okay, let's see what this all. Let's see. Uh, class 33 GRN. So, which one is that actually? Uh, Great Western Express, the Long Island. Has to be on one of these things. Okay, let me get out of this tutorial thing and we'll actually look it up. Okay, guys, I actually found where the DLC it is. It is in the West Somerset Railway. So I, I'm thinking you actually need to have the West Somerset Railway to be able to, to be able to do this one. So uh, see down in services, then you have the Class 33 GRN. Uh, let's see, is there any scenarios with it? Uh, diesel, Class 09, Class 47. Tourism operator service down to bishops. I do not know if that one's that one. Class 09. Oh, there, there it is right there, I believe. Uh, running special service originating out of York from Bishop Leonard to Minehead. And that looks like another one, too. Looks like actually quite a few. Maybe they added three onto it. So that is pretty cool. Uh, services. And you have all of these services to do yeah it's pretty much the same services you had on the other one and let's see is there a tutorial for it too yes there's also a t tutorial on it okay so West Somerset Let's go into the tutorial real quick and we'll just take a quick look of this. Okay, I will see you guys when we get into it. Okay, here's the Class 33 introduction. That looks pretty cool though. The D658. Welcome to this Class 33 diesel electric locomotive in British Rail Green Livery. This brief introduction will go through startup, stopping, and passenger door operations. A lot of time will be spent in the locomotive cab, so climb aboard to get started. Okay. So open that up. Climb the steps. Ooh, talking about small. Get the locomotive started. 
set the battery isolation switch. How do you close the door? Can't I close it? I guess not. I guess I gotta just keep it open. Okay, where is my seat at? When ready, sit in the driver's seat. Ah, there we go. Okay, that's the driver's seat. Come on. Okay. Camera and UI navigation. The master key is used to activate the control desk. Okay, set the reverser to engine only. Ooh, it's loud. The locomotive is now ready to be started. Okay, it's gonna start up. This is another diesel engine too. Release the brakes and allow the system to charge. Okay, brakes to running. There we go. Now the system's charging. Jeez, these brakes take a minute to charge. Okay, anytime today. How you guys doing? Hey, what's up? At least the other one, I actually had someone sitting next to me. That's when I feel all so lonely. Okay. Probably gotta spin that thing a little bit. Okay. Now, set the driver's brake to around 20%. Ooh, so this one is... Okay. Reverse up to set the direction of travel. Forward. Headlights are used to inform others around that this train is active. Uh, highlights to on, markers to white. Come on. Do I actually have to get up for that one? How am I supposed to... Jeez, what the heck is that sound? I just got up. That's it. Okay, uh... How am I supposed to reach that one? Do I gotta, like, sit in here or something? No. Come on, let me reach it. And now I can't move. Oh, there we go. Okay, set the front headlights to on and marker lights to white. Okay, marker lights are white. That's on. But I can't get over there. Why can't I get over there? Uh, marker lights. Is there any way I can turn it on here? Nope, that turned it off. I just want that one. Yeah, see, I can't figure out how to get that thing on. So that might be a bug in this tutorial part right here. Actually, might be a bug in the whole DLC for right now. And what is that sound? I just got up. Is it because I released my thing off of there? See, I can't do anything right now. Hmm. Come on. So I can do that. I can do this. Just can't do that one. Hmm. Okay, well that is the DLC, guys. Let me know if you guys are able to actually get that to work in the tutorial, if you're able to get it work in the game. Uh, just let me know. I, I can't figure out how to get that thing to work. Uh... I'll try to go back in and try to see if I can fix it, guys. Give me one second. 
Okay, as you guys can see, I still can't. I've I retry to do this or whatever. So if you guys are able to do it, please let me know down in the comment section below. I have no idea what's going on with it. Uh, so that is the two DLCs, uh, the Northern, uh, Northern Penny and the BR, uh, this new train right here. The BR, I think it's 30. Uh, BR Class 33, sorry. Uh, so make sure if you guys do like this video, you guys pound that like button if you have not subbed make sure you guys do uh i'm gonna try to get this thing to work but who knows if you guys are able to let me know in the comment section like always have a day guys bye